I'm watching K dramas again. It's past 4 p.m. on a Saturday. I know I still have work to do, but also it's Saturday and I've already worked some. So I'm thinking I deserve a break and so I'm watching K dramas again. I don't know how many I've watched recently. I don't know, they're so addictive. Anyway, I'm having a snack. I've been snacking a lot lately. I hope it's not a bad thing. I'm only eat eating my healthy foods except for the ice cream that you saw in my last vlog I think you saw it in my last vlog um, so right now I'm having these are actually really good it's Sazan flour it's been dirt there I've been crying kids in my street all day I don't know why this is the proof that I've been eating too much even though I'm not really hungry I just want to eat anyway that's what I'm having and then I'm trying this for the first time the creamy tzatziki flavor spread, which is vegan. So, no dairy, no soy, no gluten, no lactose, no nuts, and no preservatives. But honestly, just had a bite here. It tastes a little meh. You have a slight tzatziki flavor. What is that herb in English? Again, in English, I know it in French. Anet. That's the French word for the herb. I'm going to insert it here in English. I can taste the anet. Is it? I don't know, I don't know what it's called. Maybe it's in English here. Oh, dill. There you go, dill. It's dill. So it tastes of dill, but like very faintly. Ooh, don't turn off, I'm watching this. Just <laughs> it just tastes weird. I guess if you did spread some coconut oil and a bunch of dill and some other flavors onto a cracker, I guess this is kind of, yeah, it is, it does taste a little waxy. Not gonna lie. I'm not a fan. Was it this thing that I said in the last video that because of how expensive it was, even if I hate it, I'm gonna eat it? <laughs> I think it was this thing. I'll probably finish it even if I don't like it because of how pricey this is. And uh, yeah, um, I'm not a fan at all. It tastes wrong. But since it was so expensive for this little tub, um. I'm gonna find a way to eat it. Maybe if I mix it in something. That's the update. I've watched it. editing and I started getting some weird pains I don't know if it'll focus focus please there we go 
on my finger and I noticed that it just randomly started bruising well I just pressed on it so now my finger is red compared to the other ones but I press close to it to make it go white you can see that I have like really weird bruising on my finger and it's kind of painful it feels weird my I remember with everything that's been going on health-wise, every like little thing that's out of the ordinary, I'm like, okay, what on earth is happening now? Am I am I dying? It, what? Thought I'd show you guys my lunch. That way, you can keep me accountable for eating healthier, bigger portions and taking care of my health and trying not to be too frugal. <laughs> So if you remember in the last vlog, I bought these, um, I think they were, uh, what were they? Were they pumpkin or butternut? I don't remember. I think they were pumpkin and ginger uh, soba noodles, so cold noodles. And then I added this carrot salad that I got for free. If you're wondering where I'm getting all these free f this free food, I go to a food distribution for people that are like um, in the cultural sector, like artists, uh, people working in bookstores, and they give away food for free, but they're usually like expired food. So for example, this carrot salad expired three days ago, but it still smells fine. The only thing is that the company, uh, actually it's kind of a restaurant type thing that does this ca carrot salad, they love putting cilantro in their salads so even though i can get rid of some as you can see we got some cilantro so i'm hoping with the taste of everything i won't be able to taste it too much because i as you guys know from the instagram polls i've been doing with you guys to like figure out what our tastes are and our similarities i don't like cilantro i'm one of those people who think cilantro tastes like soap cilantro coriander i never know which one is which i think you most people say cilantro and here we say coriander I got some um, zucchini courgette again, <laughs> depends where you're from, here we say courgette because it's a half French speaking country, we have some leftover courgette that I made a few days ago but it's, again it still smells fine. And then we have sardines. I usually buy mackerel but for some reason they don't really seem to be selling mackerel anywhere. So got some canned sardines. As you can see, making an effort to add fish into my diet. So I'm going to eat this lovely cold salad. I think it's perfect. Well, you can really see the noodles beneath here. I had the noodle, one noodle on its own before adding all of this. And it tasted really, really nice, actually. It, would taste, it had the ginger, but it wasn't overpowering. And I don't know, it tasted nice. You know what would be nice on top of this? Would be some sesame seeds. That would really look... look. <laughs> it would look good, but it would taste... So good to have a little bit of a crunch in there. I did add some uh, yeast flakes, which you might have seen from the last vlog that I really like. So um, I'm gonna enjoy this and I think it's gonna be really, really tasty, honestly. So itadakimasu. And uh, this little guy just had a bit of fish also, as you can see. <laughs> Keep me accountable, guys. I'm really trying my best to be healthy not that i wasn't healthy before but i was so frugal that i became sick so i think this is gonna be good let's go enough talking eating yeah good morning i was about to grate this carrot to put in some noodles like yesterday turned to get my grater forgot that i practically have nothing left in this apartment so my grater is nowhere to be found which is why I'm eating it <laughs> like this instead fun times good morning I just reserved, well yesterday I reserved a spot at the gym which you have to do now <laughs> and also wear a mask and walk around with a spray well not really walk around spray all the machines you've been using before and after but anyway just getting ready to go to the gym. Cat's not really happy about me leaving. <laughs> yeah, here we go. <laughs> My tiny arms.
It's the last of the uh, brown rice, pumpkin and ginger soba and I must say they were really really good. I approve. It's again kind of a luxury product but it was really delicious so it was good to have something different from a change from all the quinoa and the rice. <laughs> Here we go. I've already put some frozen spinach in there. I don't know if it was the best idea but we shall see when I have to drain the water. <laughs> Here we go. And these are really easy to cook. They just need to be in there for like four to five minutes max. So yeah, please just don't pay attention to the dishes. I always wait a few days to do the dishes. I know it's, I'm that kind of person. I just hate doing the dishes so much that I let them pile up for three days-ish. I mean with the summer, less days. And I just do everything in one go. But honestly, I'm. it's just usually me eating here, so I don't really have that many dishes, so... Don't judge me, and I know my kitchen looks gross all the time, probably because it is, but it's a gross looking kitchen, whatever I do. I'm gonna look at these walls. I'm feeling very self-conscious about my uh, <laughs> living space lately, <laughs> probably because... Hang on. Probably because I'm vlogging again and I'm seeing how, like, not... Um, luxurious my flat is compared to other vloggers but yeah I am I'm I like this flat it's a great place to live it's a roof or it's a roof over my head it kind of sucks well it totally sucks in the winter and it's not the most like clean and like sanitary place like there's mold on the walls and everything but it's it's a home you know but when you see like big vloggers and you have like their really clean and beautiful house i can't i can't help to feel a little self-conscious anyway i'm talking and i forgot to look at the time to when i put them in so yeah yeah focus 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 it's 11 30. there you go want to see my heart rate there you go Way, go ahead and laugh because this is my lunch corner because <laughs> I don't want to be eating at my desk otherwise I'm like working at my desk and eating at my desk and I'm just sitting there all day long I don't want to eat in my bed because I'll just fall asleep and the day will be gone but I don't have a sofa anymore if you guys remember I used to have a comfy sofa where I used to have lunch I guess I could have lunch on my little um, made up table but all it also feels like i draw there and i study there and i write there so i don't like i like things being separate so my mom lent me this old it's kind of it's a mattress fold up mattress but it's like really old so it's like you sit in there and then you sink and then yeah that's how i have lunch and sometimes i take my laptop and watch a series or something when i feel like it but she is disappointed that there's no fish with this meal. But yeah. <laughs> Okay, you guys, <laughs> let's see my heart rate, 105, oh my god, <laughs> it's like almost, yeah, it's almost twice my resting heart rate. I may have done something really silly, but I have booked an appointment with a hairdresser, like on a whim, and I have an appointment in like 10 minutes, we'll have to go out in 10 minutes and get some cash because it's, oh. Ah, it really bugs me when I have to get cashed out. Anyway, oh my god, I was editing 
and I had to look at my hair and I was just like I just I cannot this is hideous and since like a few like I think it was two weeks ago or a week ago I try to cut my own hair and now I'm just like I'm sick of looking ratchet and scruffy and even though I have a fear of the hairdressers because for these past couple of years, every time I go to a hairdresser, I'm, I'm serious. Ever since I've lived in this flat for at least five years, I think, every time I've gone to the hairdresser, even if it's like once a year, I come out looking not the way I'd hoped or like actually really bad. So I've already went to this hairdresser, but today I'm getting someone else. So I'm hoping for a better experience. I'm going back to brown today, guys. I am sick of these roots. I am sick of this color. I mean, it was either going blonder or back to brown, but since I'm I, roots and maintaining and everything, it's just, I'm just gonna go back to brown and I might hate it and I might like bleach everything back after two months, which I hope not. But yeah, I'm gonna tell you, if he cries when he sees my haircut, when he sees my roots. Um, I didn't really get to warn him beforehand on the phone because he's, I don't know, he didn't seem very interested in knowing. I was just kind of like, haircut and uh, color. Oh no, not my roots, my lengths, please. And he was like, okay. So now I can run to the bank, get some cash and like on a whim, same day appointment and I'm freaking out clearly uh, oh it went down we're back we're to 90 we're at 90 now so I'm going wish me luck I'm terrified <sighs> yeah wow okay I'm back you can already see what I kind of went for obviously you curled my hair it cost me an arm and a leg hairdressers during COVID, but I'm glad I'm helping out, I guess, local businesses. And I like it, but if you guys know me, I don't do things halfway. So, um, yeah, I'm all for drastic changes. Maybe you guys won't think it's drastic, but for me, it's drastic. And I'm still looking at it and like, not realizing what I did yet. I'll probably realize tomorrow when I wake up and see my face <laughs> But oh my goodness, uh, I can't believe I am a brunette again Anyway, you guys are gonna be so mad at me like show us Oh, I'm so afraid of your reaction Also, this is like full-on natural daylight like through like my window is completely in front of me. So yeah. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ah! Okay, the bangs are not staying in place very much yet. It's They're kind of like curtain bangs, so they kind of want to do this, which is not bad, but I'm not, just not used to it. I haven't had bangs, like no joke. It's been close to 10 years. Okay guys, uh, let me stand up. It feels very me, but also not me. It's so weird, yo. I can't believe I'm looking at myself. It feels like a wig, but also my hair is very styled, so I'll have to see once it drops. My curls drop very fast anyway. And also, uh, well, since I don't have straighteners anymore, I don't know what's going to happen to these bangs. I can't see. They're so long. I was considering bangs, not going to lie. I was considering the bangs or the fringe or whatever when I was going to my appointment. But like I said, it was so last minute that I didn't really give it a lot of thought except that I was so sick of having these awful roots and this yellow hair. Um, so that was like the main thing and also like since I kind of ruined my haircut a few weeks ago uh, I wanted to fix that um, and then we were talking about like the haircut and I was like what would you think like what's your thoughts I said that to him what would you think about me like maybe getting a side fringe or some kind of banged something different and he was like, to be honest, when you walked in, the first thing that I, one of the first things that I thought, like, 
was I should convince her to get bangs. So um, we were talking, like trying sides and everything, and then he said, "What's really like in at the moment is like the long, like the bangs that go like this." And at first I was like, I don't know, because like when it's gonna part, it's just gonna look weird. I keep touching it, I know. Touching my face, like the worst thing. Um, but after, he said like, I'm gonna start with uh, the, the rest of your hair and then we'll get to these pieces and then we can talk about it again. And by the time he did it, I was like, you know what, just do it. But tell me what you think. Oh, I need to tell someone. Who am I gonna tell? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, this is so weird. Well, thank you for this hair. I'm sorry, wallet. Okay, I need to really try and find the right placement. I feel like it's gonna go like this all the time. And that's like, nope, nope. But also it goes in my eyes. Ah! <laughs> what did I do? Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. Holy crap. Oh my god. Go away. I don't know. My neighbor just opened the window and I'm talking to her camera. Ah!